better finally. I mean, you know, you're one of the few people in Europe who knows the history of the band enough to know how we, how hard we work, and how we get, and how we get sidetracked for lesser people, lesser things. But that's changing now. And this, and this band has stayed together a long time. It's, a, it's this is probably the best family, uh, happy uh, organization. You know, where everybody really cares about each other. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's not like, well, you know, it's not like uh, other family. Yeah, family It's the real thing. A lot of the guys get together with each other and they hang out after work or they when they're doing their other jobs. It seems like everybody's become pretty close with each other. Dennis Irwin, Dennis Irwin on the bass. Jerry Spallion on the baritone saxophone. And Kenny Werner at the piano. <laughs> okay, we're going to play a piece. This is a new, it's a new uh, composition, and it's hard. So now you can talk all you want, okay? <laughs> this is a Jim McNeely uh, arrangement that, uh, a composition that he calls Off the Cuff. And uh, it's going to feature Andy Fusco on uh, soprano saxophone, on uh, alto saxophone, Richie Perry on soprano saxophone, Andy, Andy Fusco on the alto saxophone, and Kenny Werner at the piano. and. Off the cuff. 
If you listen closely, if you know some of your old standard tunes, you might guess what tune this is. It's right near the end. There's about two bars of the melody. Wrong. <laughs> so if you, if you catch it, you win a prize. I'll tell you someday what it'll be. A trip to Helsinki, huh? Okay. Off the cuff.
<laughs> How you feel playing play with the band at the, every Monday night at the Vanguard? Great. <laughs> it's my favorite gig in the whole world. I'm serious. <laughs> he's, he's telling the truth because other people tell me that he says that, so I know it's true. But it's mine, too. It's your and, gig, though. Well, it's my yeah. gig, but I mean, but it's still my favorite, you know. You know, it's 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 what's kept the band together. Come on, Simo. <laughs> Every Monday night for how long? 20 well, 23 years. 23 years. Yeah, and then Earl's been there half of them. It's been 12 years already. Because we're almost through the 23rd year already. Believe it or not. Just. Uh, you, you made, made the album of, uh, what's that, uh, 20th uh, anniversary? Oh, the, the, 20th, the 20th anniversary album, we actually did it in the studio, believe it or not, because it says 20, the name of the album is 20 Years at the Village Vanguard. Yeah. It doesn't say live at the Village Vanguard, but, but the new album that's coming out that we just did was done live at the Village Vanguard. What, what was that? Uh, we did it in February during our anniversary when we were, it was the 22nd anniversary. Right. But they're not going to call it 22nd anniversary. It's the 25th, we'll just call it the 25th anniversary. <laughs> did, did you play good? Yes. Do I play good? <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you play a lot of in uh, Broadway shows and uh, studios in New York. I'm doing a lot of work. Thanks. <laughs> really, I'm amazed, but. I've been working a lot in the last couple of years up there, so I've been real fortunate, you know, knock wood. <laughs> It'll keep going for a while, but you never know. But yeah, it's, uh, but, it's but cool. See, see, the good thing about it, it, a thing like that will keep going for you for actually as long as you want it. And uh, uh, you'll, you'll, as time goes on, there'll be somebody else that, that is going to follow your footsteps will come along and... And he'll be into he'll be younger at the time, and he'll come in he'll come in, and you won't Take want my no because you won't, <laughs> no you won't you not only you not only won't want it you won't want it anymore you'll be glad to get out of it by that time, and uh, you'll be glad to be doing less of it because you know as you know it's really not really great work it's it's it's, it's for the fun. pocketbook work. So a lot of it's fun. Well, what I'm yeah. doing now is fun, but musically it's 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 not always the greatest, well, and. Yeah. Uh, and there comes a point where you, yeah, it's, this is it. It's, 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 I went through it too. I did it too. And uh, and the best thing that happened, almost all the old older jazz musicians uh, like Hank Jones and and Thad and Clark Terry and myself and uh, uh, was that we all got thrown out of the studios at one time. You know, we just not thrown out. We had a choice to make it. We just decided that we had enough. And everybody started really working and playing more than ever you know and, and and only the kind of music you really like to play and i'm trying to by keeping this band alive from hopefully that's where he'll he and other guys in the band that are doing that will have a home later on they don't have to ever worry if we can get the band keep the band going to where it would be where when we really need it and then we say well, all right we got to work more with it we can do it you know, and still have the greatest band, and everybody will, will feel it is now. But uh, it'll be nice if it can still be that way. I got to hang on to my health and keep playing good. And these guys are going to grow older and get better anyway. I got to stay good. You know, well, it's getting hotter and hotter in here, so we, it doesn't matter now. We just might as well add some more heat, right? So we're going to bring out our vocalist, Miss Renee Manning. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's very nice being here in Finland. It's my first time here and I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to do an arrangement by a young lady by the name of Maria Schreiber and it's called Born to be Blue. Some folks 
Besides the band, I, I work as a guest soloist with, uh, you know, like Umo, and it's been a while, but uh, maybe one day again. But I'm working a lot with the Cologne Radio Band and um, and down in Rome, and uh, and I'm doing more clinics and uh, and college things and, uh, and teaching of that sort in, uh, in the states. 
And working a lot with the guys in the band. They hire me for their small group thing, which is fun, too, you know. So, uh, and I'm involved with the American Jazz Orchestra, you know, with, to keep alive old music. That's a nice thing, too. It's important to do, you know. Although I'd rather keep alive new music, you know. But let's face it, if we can't let that other music die, you know, it's too important. We'll play one more tune. Look, Simo, come on up and play with us. Simo Salmonen. Okay, we're going to put him on the spot. We're going to make Simo play some of the first trumpet, like he can do. And uh, he came to Thad, Thad Jones and me. He came when, when he was a little kid. <laughs> and uh, he learned very well. He, he and Marco Johnson, they came to see us and to study and learn. So we'll, see, we'll show you what he learned. We'll see how much he still remembers. We're going to play a piece. It's a Thad Jones composition arrangement. It's just a nice blues to shuffle. And let's see. Hey, Billy Drews, you play on this this time. You play on this. And uh, his brother, Glenn, will play the trumpet solo. And then Billy Drews will play the album, because he hasn't played any solos. So if we could do that, we wouldn't do anything we want. So this is called Don't Get Sassy.
Glenn Groves on trumpet. Billy Groves on alto saxophone. Timo Salmanen playing first trumpet on that. And the band. I'm afraid that's, uh, that's, it, that's it. It can go on all night. Uh, I, I think we have to get off here. Yeah, we've been up here a long time. I'm wilted. I'm hungry.